Hey, welcome back to the Ping Pong Fleet Show. My name is Chris Wong. Um, quite an interesting a weekend, personally for myself, but at least Arm of the Dead came out over the weekend and people got to really see that. So let's talk a little bit about how it did. Um, we don't have all the numbers yet, but I'm going to think that just judging from this, it's been number one around the world. I don't know, maybe. I mean, <laughs> thanks to Ohio Day or Dave Avery here. It says top 10 in Russia, Brazil, uh, Denmark, UK, US, everywhere, Jamaica, worldwide. Army of the Dead is number one. So everybody was checking out Army of the Dead. They have their own opinions of Army of the Dead. There was a lot of theories going around, things like that. It's been an exciting weekend just to see all that transpire. So we talked a little bit about you know the spoilers and the breakdown of certain things uh, over in the live chat uh, yet last night. So if you want to see that, check that out. And if you haven't seen it, if you haven't seen Army of the Dead yet, then don't check that out because we go through everything, at least almost everything, time loops, whatever, aliens, and aliens outside the movie as well. It got weird, but it's okay. It was fun. All right. Speaking of Zack Snyder's work, you know, one of Zack Snyder's work we would really want to see is the Snyder Cut. The Snyder Cut of the Snyder Cut, we would say, where uh, Wayne T. Carr is Green Lantern. He posted this on Instagram. He posted a bunch of things about him, you know, himself. And um, he's been appearing on different podcasts of late, just showcasing that he is indeed Green Lantern John Stewart. We shall never forget that. You are John Stewart, our first John Stewart. We are such stuff as dreams are made on William Shakespeare. Will power beware my power live your dreams. Still fighting the good fight. Absolutely. It's interesting the people he tagged though. Mark Strong. Ryan Reynolds. 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 Jeremy Irvine who is the new um, Alan Scott. Finn Whitrock. Uh, which is also. Uh, who was he inside? Oh he was. Um. He's one of the new. Uh, he's one of the new Green Lanterns, but it's, um, the name's escaping me right now. Um, and, and Sam Benjamin. I don't know if he knows that Sam Benjamin was never Green Lantern. I think he just figured maybe it was still a chance that he was, so he just plugged him there as well. That's kind of funny. So, but hey, anyway, he is still promoting himself as Green Lantern and you know tagging people as well. So it's great to see that 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 willpower. That willpower that one day we will get to see him as John Stewart one day. One day. All right. Um, I won't, you know, I got a little video. I made a little video all about this. So you can go ahead and check it out up here, right here. The link is up right there about Disney uh, Discovery selling Disney, um, you know, to, no, selling DC to Disney rather. I don't know why I got that mixed up. But, you know, I don't quite believe it, um, really. But the thing is, if Discovery, if Warner Brothers, you know, sells it to somebody else, you know, honestly, not Disney, but like if Amazon, Netflix, any of those other guys that may potentially have a lot more money than Disney to actually buy something like that, or could, because, you know, a company can't be a monopolized uh, comic book movie franchise, is big comic book movie franchise, that, that, probably won't fly with antitrust laws maybe um and you know like discover and you know if discover would sell i don't think so because they are absolutely saying dc is like one of our big brands why would we give that away like for a penny you know it's not gonna be a penny but essentially what they could make from it rather than selling it off but honestly with the current regime and stuff it'd be better off with somebody else like it would be better off like if discover doesn't fire any of those people those execs that are running them they deserve to be sold off like dc should go to netflix amazon whatever right <laughs> that would have been better uh but i don't think they're i think they're gonna totally hold on to that so in any case we'll see what happens with that all right, let's get into DC now. First look at the Batman sculpture. This is the Matt Reeves, Robert Pattinson Batman. You can see a full, uh, pretty much the whole thing from him right now, the, the the armored look of him, which there'll probably be multiple costumes, I would say multiple suits, and this is just one of the armored look of him. Uh, looks pretty badass. Looks pretty badass because there was another one. I don't have the picture here. I think it was this one where the cowl doesn't have this seam here. It's kind of very much 
flows better on top. I don't know if it's this one, but there was another one where it just flows better. So I'm like, okay, there probably is a, a different, a better stitched cowl, if you will. Maybe a hard noggin for a cowl or something. But it looks really cool. Um, it's giving me some Arkham Knight type vibes going on here. And um, we'll see how it works out within the, the context of the movie. Black Adam has got a few more things. Dwayne The Rock Johnson promoted uh, some Black Adam over the weekend. He's got this set picture here. Black Adam update. Want to show you guys this cool shot of our enormous sound stages and massive production efforts and scale. Zoom in and take a look. We're hitting our midway point stride and our A-team production crew continue to showcase why they're the best in our industry. This is one inspiring production to be on post-COVID and back to work. The hierarchy of power in the DC universe is about to change. Black Adam rage against the dying of the light. Uh, and he, you know, got Garcia and all those over there. Seven Bucks production. Um, so, yeah, it looks pretty awesome. It's a set, of course. Um, nothing much to see much there. I think pe some people are zooming in, but couldn't really tell. Um, looks like some wreckage, some rub, uh, you know, maybe a battle has ensued and, and things like that. So that would be pretty cool. You can see the uh, architecture here, probably during, you know, Egyptian looking architecture here. Um, I don't know, I'm just guessing. And uh, it was really cool to see that they're already in the midway point. So when are we going to get to see the costumes though? He did kind of just give us a look of maybe another tease of the costume you can't see much of anything um that's why i kind of just put out that uh, joke tweet that maybe this is like <laughs> un unbreakable year 2000 directed by m9 Shyamalan. yeah he kind of looks like david dunn here but <laughs> but of course anybody with a cloak and like that would look like david dunn but he said this if you know the comic book mythology then you know where his pain comes from his rage his wife and children killed his people brutally enslaved he is not a superhero, but rather a champion. Champion the poor and beaten down, champion the people, and he is the most unstoppable force in the DC Universe, Black Adam. Rage. Um, wanted to give you guys a little Black Adam update and share this image with you from set. Production is coming along great, and I'm very pleased with the movie we're making. Black Adam's mythology, ethics, and actions no doubt will create a new paradigm in the world of superheroes, villains, and antiheroes. The power will shift. The line will blur from a slave to a god. Black Adam, the man in black. And so he's definitely promoting himself to be not a villain. Not a villain. They call him like antiheroes and stuff like that. Yeah. He's definitely going to keep going on. He's probably going to be a hero later on, but like a badass um, hero, you know, in a way. So um, that's cool. And I totally see where he's trying to make himself probably the main character through DC in a way and kind of kind of thing. Like, uh, oh, Black Adam's going to take on the next villain. Uh, if there's a new dark side black adam's gonna take on dark side you know i feel like he wants to get that <laughs> that 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 way a little bit like he's hierarchy of power is gonna change right he's gonna take on superman's gonna beat superman um which you know well it's made by the rock so he's probably gonna make him who's number one in the rock size the rock the rock's gonna be <laughs> number one so yeah uh, i don't know how people feel about that uh i hopefully not all the time I can get to see in your own movie, but I hope you realize that, you know, yeah, Black Adam's awesome and powerful and cool, but there's, you know, Superman, and even Shazam to a certain extent, you know, come on, man. But, but, it's okay because the costume's looking up pretty cool. Some people brightened up the, the clothing, you know, not the clothing, but the, the suit a little bit, and you can see that the boots look interesting and matches what boss logic did a while back of the suit so this is probably this is probably what his suit's gonna look like um i would say that this part is a little bit more tight it's not padded at all it's gonna show his exact physique here uh but you do see some gauntlets here so i'm not sure if that's actually gonna happen i don't know if that's the case but the boots look similar to that of that 
boss logic uh, f um, picture there. So I'm going to say, hey, that's probably what the costume is going to look like. So I can't wait until he reveals himself. So it's like he's taking steps to get to the point where it's like, you know what? I'm going to show it. I'm just going to show it. One day I'm just going to stand there like, mm, mm. you know, <laughs> there it is. This is how I look. I'm Black Adam. I'm going to change the hierarchy of whatever. You know, I'm going to beat Justice Society. He's definitely going to beat Justice Society of America. Will Superman come in and throw down? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see if Henry Cavill actually shows up or just a stunt double again. But um, um, like I said, this is probably one of the more exciting DC projects that's coming out. So I'm really looking forward to seeing Black Adam beat down some, you know, he looks like a superhero. He looks like a hero. <laughs> and just like, mm, you know, <laughs> I mean, come on. Come on, you think these children are going to take him on? Come on. Now, they're growing up, though. This is a uh, the Shazam family. We don't see, you know, the, uh, the other boys here. But just looking at them, they are definitely, Darla's growing up. They're all growing up. Um, so, you know, they better shoot fast. They better take make some movies fast. This one, the next one, whatever. Get to the point where they have to look up at uh, their other family member and look at Black Adam. They're like, oh, yeah, we ain't beating him. <laughs> Forget about it. We're out of here. So, uh, but yeah. Yeah, these are the kid versions, but even the adult versions are probably won't hold up very well. <laughs> I don't think. Against Black Adam? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that. All right. Well, let's get into The Flash. The Flash. Sasha Kaye, uh just did a little beauty picture, but knowing that she's filming The Flash right now, Unless she wears a wig, you know, she could be wearing a wig. What if she wears a wig? What if they give her a wig, like a blonde wig or something? But if she's not wearing a wig, maybe this is her shot. Maybe this is what she looks like, right? Now, I don't know if her long hair is actually, you know, going towards her back or she does have short hair in this instance. And if she does have short hair, that's interesting. That's a really interesting uh, look for you know, the new DCEU's first Supergirl, first, and we don't even know, actually, if that's Kara Zor-El, they never said Kara, she just, they just said Supergirl, she could be any Supergirl, so in some cases, people were saying, looking at the short hair, it's like, okay, what if she's sir L? is that how you say it, sir L? sir L or Kerr L? I would say sir L because it's a C, it's like a sir, circle, sir, sir L, anyway, so maybe she's sir L, who's sir L? She was Supergirl. She came, saw a uh, from the future, told Superman, "I'm your daughter." Right? Even called Lois her mommy, but then found out, oh, she only has a certain DNA for Superman, and Lois is not the mommy. Well, who's the mommy? Well, actually, Superman's not even the dad either. Brainiac kind of made uh, took a human uh, girl named Mia. Or Maya, M I A, M I A, <laughs> and uh, bestowed Kryptonian DNA on her, Superman's, and made her into that. Fortunately, she had to die so that that future never happened. But then she comes on later on in, in certain, you know, um, like, like when those when they're, they're, all the other Supergirls are come together, sometimes she shows up and stuff like that. But she was a super, she was a Supergirl and that created by Brainiac. But seeing that, you know, canon is not always canon in terms of DC. They never really make the comics to be like the movies and vice versa. What if they're just taking elements? So they got the short hair down. If she does indeed have short hair, is she going to be called, is she going to be called Sorrel? I don't know. Will she be from the future? Maybe she is from another dimension, maybe that dimension, and says, oh yeah, Superman's my father. Superman, I'm, I'm Henry Cavill's dad. <laughs> I mean, I'm a daughter, sorry. I'm Henry Cavill's daughter. Henry Cavill's Superman's daughter. That'd be cool. So that means Henry Cavill could still be Superman, right? Um, I also have thoughts maybe she may be the Henry Cavill Superman, but in another world, another world where it's, it, it's flipped, a gender flopped, and, you know, and uh, she is the Henry Cavill's version, but, you know, flipped, and maybe Lois Lane is like, I guess it could still be Lois Lane if it's like LGBTQ or something, but, or it could be uh, Lawrence Lane or some, some, something weird like that, I don't know. That's the, that's the curious thing about Flash, because you don't know what they're going to do now. Now that they're introducing multiverse and everything, 
what are they going to pull from the comics? Are they going to pull from the comics as well at, at all? Is Andy Muschietti actually researching all that stuff? Or he's kind of like, well, this would be cool. This would be cool. It was a studio saying, well, we need to replace Henry Cavill Superman with a Supergirl. And what do we call it? You know, what do we do? So I don't know. That could be the case as well. But all in all, it's an interesting. Like I said, it could be. It, we could be blowing it out of proportion. Her hair is just really long and just going back behind her back. And we are actually not seeing that part of it. But it's interesting to speculate in any case. Sasha, Sasha K.A. Uh, really happy that uh, her, you know, I think this is her first major motion picture. And she gets to be a superhero. Super girl right there. All right. Well, that's it. That's pretty much it. Let's get into the members' comments and questions now. Uh, WUSTL7. Uh, anyone ever notice that every Zack Snyder movie that he directed, except DCU movies and the Owl movie, has rape scenes or references? 300, 300 Rise of an Empire. Written and produced by Zack. Watchmen, Sucker Punch, Army of the Dead. I like Zack, but that is a disturbing trend. Wow. Um, the cool thing, the, the great thing about Zack is that he makes you think about that. He makes you go through those thoughts because he doesn't hold back you know if it's not if it's in your mind that lasts it lasts right <laughs> now rise of the empire they kind of they had sex they didn't have there was no it wasn't actually rape that wasn't even rape actually sucker punch that definitely was but that is because you have this sexual predator and we enact um, what do you call vengeance upon those even the first 300 right the queen got raped but she enact vengeance upon him and so it's you have to create the villain before you can involve the justice for the villain the more you hate those guys the more satisfying that kill is the more satisfying that kill is watchmen um watchmen where was the rape in that? I don't even remember there was a rape in that one. I don't think there was. Huh. Yeah, I don't think there was. But that one, Watchmen, is mostly pretty much on, you know, the graphic novel he adapted. So it may have been in that one, but I don't remember rapes in that one. There, There is a sex scene in that one, but it was also in the graphic novel as well. Um, love the original movie and the TV show also. It's from Amparo. I wonder if Henry Cavill will be cast as the Karugan. Uh, the Kurgan, I mean. The Kurgan in the Clancy Brown one? Uh, I, I guess he could, but it felt like he was going to be playing the Highlander. Um, but I guess he could play the Kurgan too, because he's pretty big, massive. Oh, imagine this, if you got somebody else coming in as the Kurgan. Um, hey, the Dwayne The Rock Johnson plays the Kurgan. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, then we can have our Black Adam versus uh, versus Superman movie. <laughs> hey, Chris, how goes things in your neck of the woods? I'm really excited for all the DC content getting ready to head our way. I saw a minute and a half of the clip of the long Halloween Jensen the Echo. Sounds absolutely fantastic as Bruce Wayne. Uh, has me super excited. Now, if only we can get... I should have... Uh, Snyderverse back and the multiverse's balance will be finally restored. Yeah, restore the Snyderverse. Yeah, and you never know. You know, it's going to take uh, the end of the year until we finally find out how much of a difference this Discovery um, merger actually does, right? How, what, how much of a difference it actually makes. Oh, I can't be Superman? No worries. I'll be every other major genre hero ever. I love this so much. I know, right? He's going to be, you know, and some people say he's still Superman. And I guess, yeah, he's still Superman until they actually replace him in the movie. Um, so at this time, he's still Superman. But, but yeah, he's not going to slow. He's not going to wait around. He's definitely got some great stuff going on. And Highlander is one of them. Sweet bro. Um, Well-deserved Chris. Hard work and dedication pays off. Well, thank you very much. Oh, by the that's from my some of the, my member videos. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thanks for joining as a member. I plan to do. I got. I need more member videos. Maybe Deathstroke is at the very beginning of the Flash film. Barry helping Batflick take on Batflick, much like how the Flashpoint animated film begins with Barry doing this thing with the League. 
Could. Could. Still could. Yeah. Small possibility. I mean, Ben Affleck is on set or doing that, is doing the movie. So he's probably, you know, says, you know, I want to do these certain things. And maybe. So Zach notes how he misses Alan Horn running Warner Brothers. Apparently, there's talk that Alan Horn might be leaving Disney soon. Perhaps the Discovery boss is inviting him on board to take over from Emmerich. We'll see. I mean, I think, you know, they definitely need somebody to run the movie side of things, right? I don't think Discovery has any expertise in running motion pictures and movies and stuff like that. So he would still need somebody to do that. And hopefully it's not Toby. Could Zack's line about his next big big universe for Netflix movie involve a Norse animated, a God's animated series? I mean, we haven't, have we heard anything new about that after its initial announcement? No, we haven't. You're right. We haven't heard anything more about that. I don't know what what stage they're on. They seem to have so many projects on their, on their their in their hands right now. Patty and Zack work so well in Wonder Woman. Patty and Zack without each other, no total creative control does not turn out well. Wonder Woman 1984 and Sucker Punch. Um, I don't know. People like Sucker Punch though. Don't don't say that that didn't work out. It's just maybe Sucker Punch was misunderstood. People, the the movies they wanted Zach to make a just a really blockbuster type movie, but apparently his version of Sucker Punch is not the Snyder Cut. of Sucker Punch Snyder Cut. We haven't seen that yet, and it's. Apparently different. Apparently different. This was a very good editorial, by the way. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, James Wan and Aquaman has made more money than any uh, Zack Snyder movie. I love Zack Snyder's Justice League, but James set the monetary standard for the DCU. Zack is best when challenged by better storytellers like uh, Patty on Wonder Woman to balance him out. Zack is crucial through for the spectacular action sequences. That's why you need him. Hopefully they can work together on uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League 2. I would say that it's kind of interesting because um, a lot of people have different opinions about Zack Snyder. I absolutely love his work. I absolutely love his storyteller. I would almost say it's better than Patty's, in my opinion. But I can see how I, I, you know, I see how people would not like that. But it's okay. Hey Chris, which character do you think Dave Bautista was going to play in Suicide Squad before he declined to do Army of the Dead? Um, I don't. Um, Maybe it was Peacemaker because around that time it was like Dave Bautista and then he dropped out and they got John Cena. So I think it was Peacemaker. Oh my God, no! So <laughs> yeah. uh, I found out that people just wrote down the comments before you even watching the entire video. Uh, please never sell it to Disney. Netflix, this is your move now. Uh, please Netflix, Netflix buying DC will be the best move for us. Restore Snipers. Yes, I'm 99.9% certain this news is BS as well. Uh, haha, doesn't make sense. It's too big of a IP for Discovery now, exactly. But if it happens again, how funny would it be that Netflix buys it? That'd be pretty cool. Buying this IP would be great for them as well. Not only be studio now, but a major IP owner. They give uh, they give the management of it to Zack Snyder. Would be so funny that after everything that happened, Zack would finally become what he was supposed to be at Warner Brothers. DC used Kevin Feige, but much better. Yeah, and so like, um, and like that would maybe the reason for Netflix to actually start putting more movies out, you know, not just 600 theaters, which was their biggest or most they've ever put out, but like 4,000 theaters, which is how much theaters are domestically and international as well. So that may be their foray into the, you know, not that will happen, but like that could be a foray into the movie theater industry. Uh, who needs this stress to start the week? <laughs> Sorry! Uh, I don't care who they sell it to or who buys it. All I know is that they need to put Zack Snyder, the head of all creative control of DC properties and projects like Kevin Feige, is at Marvel Restore Snipers. I mean, Zack clearly knows where he was going. He, he had it all mapped out. It's so fake. If, 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 if they were to sell DC, I highly doubt it would be to Disney. Yep. I don't believe a word of this. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's why sometimes it's great to watch the entire video. Uh, but that's okay. Thanks for engaging anyway. Thanks for watching that video. And thanks for watching this video.
Uh, and I don't know what will happen this week. It's interesting. What will happen? It seems like every day I, there is something that happens and I'm all here to talk about it and report it to you. So thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you absolutely love this daily dose of entertainment news and content, please click the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Keep this hot dog light on. Hot dog up there. I mean, <laughs> and buy some shirts down below. And I'll see you next time.